everyone and welcome to another unboxing video. With the rapid development of Raspberry Pi support in Visuino, I find myself buying more and more Raspberry Pi items. I already have three different Raspberry Pis and I have camera for one of them. But I do not have any dedicated touchscreen displays. So I decided to go ahead and buy this 5 inch capacitive touch display for Raspberry Pi. And to go with it I bought a little plastic enclosure. So let's go ahead, open the box and see what's inside. Put the enclosure aside for now. First we have some cables. Micro USB cable, probably for the touch. A standard HDMI to standard HDMI short cable, probably quite handy if you connect Raspberry Pi next to the display. Some standoffs, not sure what they are needed for, but we'll discover together. And finally, we have a standard to micro HDMI converter adapter. Okay, that's for the cables. Next, we have a menu in English and Chinese. Seems to be pretty basic with some menu functions for most parts. A CD which says that there is documentation and driver in it and image probably for the Raspberry Pi. I would expect the driver to be in case you want to connect the display to Windows or something, maybe Linux, but uh, we'll discover when I see what's inside the CD. And finally we have the display itself. It's 800 by 480 pixels. It appears to have two micro USB ports probably for both for touch or and power. We'll see how it all goes together. There appears to be audio on the display, not sure how exactly it works, but probably the Raspberry Pi can send some audio over the HDMI or something. I would expect so, since HDMI allows that. I'm relatively new to Raspberry Pi, being mostly Arduino and microcontrollers type of guy, working on Visuino. But with uh, more and more support for Raspberry Pi and Visuino, I'm learning more and more about Raspberry Pi and I'll be sharing whatever I learn with you. So here are some buttons, there is power, uh, menu, return probably from the menu and navigation uh, buttons for the menu I would expect. Obviously the standoffs will have to go here they're probably to mount it behind something, I really don't know. I'll discover as it all goes. So that's it for the display. Now, let's take a look at the second star of the show. The box for the display, the little enclosure. Seems well wrapped and more wrapping and here we go guys. So it is acrylic enclosure. We can take a brief look. Oh boy, it appears to be quite well wrapped. So 
let's unwrap it. Why not? Let's make it a real unboxing slash unwrapping video. I will need to use the good old rusty scissors. Oh boy, they have really put some considerable effort packing it together. So here we go. Here are some plastic parts. We can even see roughly how it will all go together. One of these guys will have to go to the front. They all seem to have the same opening. So, oh, I would expect, well, no, this is probably for the back. This is touch. So most likely these guys will go, yeah, I start to see how it's going to work. So this guy is going to be here. The display is going to be roughly here or so. Probably this way, yeah, I would expect. We we'll have to see. And then these guys will go on this side. I'm not going to push it for now. And finally, we will have some legs. These legs, well, yes, they appear to be coming here. And here, so that's that's how it's going to look. We can even try it so roughly this way. So yeah, I mean it's uh, nothing super fancy. It was really cheap uh, kits. If I can find the link where I bought the kit. I'll try to post it below the video. I do not even remember if I bought it on Banggood or eBay or something else. But uh, hopefully if I find the information I'll post it. So that's it guys. Uh, next step for me is obviously to start peeling off all of these uh, protective uh, layers. Figure out how the enclosure will uh, come together. There are obviously no instructions for it. I'll have to do some experimenting and uh, online research. Hopefully I'll figure it out. Make a video for you and uh, you all will have some fun watching me struggle through yet another assembly without instructions. Well, again, I mean, my last uh, video that I made on Raspberry Pi was uh, me following Japanese instructions. So no instructions or Japanese instructions with me not being able to speak Japanese is uh, probably a rather similar experience. Nonetheless, let's see how it all goes. Stay tuned for more. If you like the videos or want to see more videos like this, please click on the like button, subscribe, share, let everybody else who is interested in this type of stuff about the video. Post any comments. At least let me know what do you think about this video or what other videos you want to have. What functionality you want in Visuino or what boards you want me to buy and add support for them in Visuino. Or if any of you has some specific device and he has a spare, I mean, please send it. I will see what I can do to add it. In any case, I hope you had some fun and some relaxation watching me. Hope to see you again. Have a good day. Bye.